Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how you can connect your uh, Mac to a uh, VPN uh, on Azure using a point to site connection. So I've uh, in my GitHub repository set uh, the steps what you need to do and let's just start on Azure by creating a VNet. So I already created a resource group, I'm going to the point to site demo and here I'm going to create a VNet virtual network. Of course, all these steps can also be scripted and using desired state configuration files like ARM templates. Now we're just using the site or the portal. So I'm going to call it uh, VNet. Let's see. So I've uh, configured here an address space for my VNet. I'm going to do this in my subscription. And I'm going to use the existing resource group. As subnet, I'm creating a mm, up demo subnet one. And I'm leaving everything here for the Let's put it on 24. So here we go. Create. My VNet is created. I'm going to the VNet. Then within the subnet range, I'm going to create a gateway subnet. So I will leave all the default values here. OK. So that's done. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going back to my resource group. I'm going back to my resource group and I'm going to add a VPN gateway. Create virtual network gateway, apologies. Sugi demo. VNet gateway. I'm leaving the default value, so it's a VPN connection, VPN type, SKU. I um, can choose a different type of scale unit. I'm going to connect using the Fuginet VNet. Uh, it's the only one available because that's the only one which has a subnet gateway. Then I'm going to create a public IP address. So I'm going to create a new public IP address. Mm. Uh -huh. Let me see. I'm leaving the default values here and I'm just going to create this. So this will take uh, usually a couple of minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to set up my uh, Mac certificates because in order to make the communication between the VNet possible and my on-premise possible, I need to configure uh, certif certificates. So let's go. I leave this here. You see it's still busy creating my VNet or my VPN gateway. And in the meantime, I'm going to my Mac and I'm going to start Keychain. Within the keychain, what I'm going to do is I'm going, sorry for the Dutch, I'm going to my certificate assistant and I will create a new certificate authority, a new CA. Here I will give it a name, Fuggy Demo, and I will select here a VPN server. And here I will put my email address. And apparently it's already there. Uh, demo. Mm, let's call the Fuggy Demo 1. So the certificate is being created. So let's go to My Certificates. And here I see the newly created certificate. What I need to do now is I double click on it 
and I say trust and I will select that I always trust this certificate. Basically what happens on the water is that uh, Keychain generates a public private key pair and with this thing you can create uh, create and sign certificates so I need to fill in my password of my keychain so it's now a trusted certificate with a private key what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this key and you see I'm exporting it as a P12 Figgy demo and I'm going to export it in my downloads folder. I'm going to give this file a password. So if anyone uh, finds it or copies it, it needs a password to unlock it. And now I need again my password for my keychain. So now I'm going to my folder where I got my GitHub. Let me see. So I checked out the GitHub repository, like on on this URL. Let's see, clone and download. Download. It's if you look in my repository, the one with the Azure VPN point to site. I checked this out, and I'm going to the Mac folder, and here I'm going to copy the file from the downloads folder. Figgy demo P12. So, uh, so step one I already did. Uh, now I'm going to convert the P12 key. So step two, and basically what I do is do this command: open SSL, and then as input I have the Figgy demo P12. Then I type in notes out and I do figgy demo and then dot key no search. So I will give this a password and you see that I have a key file now. So what I now need to do is create a certificate uh, request and in this certificate request I fill in the details needed for my configuration. So, oh, apologies for that. So I'll just cut and I do open SSL, root certificate, it's figgydemo.key, min out, oh, and then I do figgydemo.csr. So, country is Netherlands. I live in the province of Utrecht, Nijdrecht, Microsoft, CSU, <coughs> apologies, and I will give this uh, fully qualified dom domain name, I will just foggy demo dot Microsoft dot com. I will not give a password and just put enter here. So uh, I've created uh, a certificate request and now what I need to do is a step four I will create the certificate based on the private key in combination with the request so let's see what's here I will do this command it's valid for 10 years about then I give the certificate request I will sign it with my key, uh, key, and as output it will have my demo. It will have this certificate. This is all okay. So I would have now a file that contains the CRT file. If I cut this file. You see that this is the certificate, uh, but this certificate contains all end of line characters. So I, I made a small script for removing the spaces. So it's just five, and then the I give the file name of this thing, of the certificate. And 
now I got a new file called Fuggy Demo CRT, no spaces that CRT. So what I need to do now is uh, two steps. I first need to uh, open fuggydemo.crt and import this in my key file. If I type in open, oh, then it will import this in my keychain. I will add this. And here you see that it added this new certificate with the uh, this, this certificate is based on the root certificate we created earlier. And this certificate will be used for configuring uh, for configuring the uh, VPN gateway. So let's see what we have here. Fuggy demo CRT no spaces dot CRT. I will copy the contents. Uh, and this is this is the contents of the certificate. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to the Azure subscription and I'm going to the virtual network gateway. And in the virtual network gateway, I'm going to the point to site configuration. Configure now, configuring a new pool. Mm. Let's not exaggerate. This is the data or the certificate data. Mm. Figgy demo com. I will save it. That's still an issue. Let's see what's the issue. I discovered that the issue was that I copied a character too, ma too many. So uh, let's go back. The last sign is the equal sign. I'm going to remove this one. Paste the certificate. Hmm, forget them all. Save. This should go well. Also, this will take a couple of minutes. Uh, when this is finished, this button will appear. So, a couple of minutes later, the uh, button appeared with download VPN client. We will do this. And if correctly, we will see in the mm -hmm. not here yet. So it's downloaded. Mm. Let's go here. I'm copying or moving it from my downloads folder. Nah, let's just go to the downloads folder. And here I un unzip the file. And you see here that there are a couple of executables for Windows. And you see here a generic folder with VPN settings. So I'm just interested in the VPN settings because I need that when I'm configuring my VPN connection. So VPN settings.xml. Here I see a field called VPN server and that's the connection I'm interested in. I'm going to copy this one. Control C. And I'm going back to Keychain. Oh, apologies, not to Keychain. I'm going to my network preferences. And in my network preferences, I'm adding a VPN connection. And mind that it is of type IKE V2. As server address, I will paste the value I copied earlier. And this is the name of my uh, Keychain value. 
So the keychain value has the certificate name fuggydemo.microsoft.com. So it's fuggydemo.microsoft.com. And then I'm going to configure the authentication. And instead of username, I will say certificate. And here I will s uh, select the certificate which I created based on the root certificate. I will apply this configuration and I will try to connect. Uh, initially, it needs to save the connection. So uh, I'm now connected. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a uh, a server on this network and see if I can uh, access this server with SSH uh, not to a public internet address. So I'm going to add a small core OS, core OS server which is stable. I'm going to create it. I'm going to create it in the point to site demo folder I'm going to call it VM1 nothing fancy here Chris I'm going to clear this one cut SSH ID uh, rsa.pub copying the public uh, key file here so I can just SSH to it I like to allow at least port SSH port 22 disks nothing fancy here networking is interesting because what I want to do now is I don't want to create a public IP address so I will say none furthermore I will just leave it to the subnet to the virtual network uh, where the VPN gateway is connected to um, the SSH is still enabled nothing to do with accelerated networking I'm going to turn off the boot diagnostics for now and I'm not doing anything here with the guest config tags nothing all default creating the yes and just create the VM so my VM is created uh, succeeded I'm going to connect and m please mind that there is no public IP address I'm going to connect while I'm connected to the VPN you can see still that I'm still connected with my VPN and I'm doing the connect button and here I see the SSH command for connecting to a 10.15.0.4 address copying it this command pasting it here say yes and I'm connected to my core OS machine so this is the end of my demo I hope you find uh, the tips useful please leave a comment and a like the video have a nice evening